I am your father. Well, that's fine. you guys think about that introduction to the video let me know in the comments section all right here we go I'm unplugging my CPU cooler or the fan to the CPU cooler and it's gonna look pretty dusty I haven't cleaned my cooler since I first installed it in the computer but it doesn't affect performance you know it's only a little bit of dust that's a lie it's a lot of dust but <laughs> my graphics card is arriving in about two hours so I will be stripping everything from my computer case dusting it blowing it not blowing it blowing the dust out of it and you know just cleaning it before I install the new card and I'll upload that video either later today most likely tomorrow though but I just took out the old RAM it was two four gig sticks of RAM here we go right here and here's my new RAM 16 gigs of RAM the Vixer Core series blue LED looks nice 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 yes sir peeling off that uh, protective wrapping oh yeah <laughs> Alright, I feel like I'm getting better at this YouTube thing, which I think. Yeah, I don't know. Again, leave a comment in the section about the introduction, about the rest of the video. Just let me know what you guys think, alright? Let's try something different here. Alright, I'll catch you guys later though. Probably like 10 hours. <laughs> alright, peace out, man. When the night is over. So we got the RAM installed and I've already turned the computer on once. It restarted itself due to the new hardware. And then we're gonna turn it on and see what's happening. So got, I think that switch is on the right position up. So let's find out. Oh yeah, looking nice, looking nice. We need one more piece. And that's that graphics card. We're gonna go straight into the BIOS. Check out what's going on, entering setup. All right, all right. Let's pull up our, I'm not even gonna show you my chair, that's how bad it is. Low storage. Yeah, I gotta find out if I can buy like a SD card, if one's compatible with this phone. Uh, something's not right. It's taking a while. Oh, there's a thing about installing RAM. I'm gonna have to reseat it. I might have to switch it over to the other slots. Who knows? I mean, the RAM is compatible. Of course, I checked before I bought it. I'm not stupid. All right, there we go. 
No. 99 came back up. <sighs> Alright, I'm gonna do some troubleshooting and I'll get back with you. Well, as you guys can see, I found the problem. And I fixed it. So, what was wrong? Well, I read a couple forms. The first guy scared the crap out of me. He said that I either had a bad motherboard or that I broke the processor. Now these are old threads I read. Then another guy, he helped me out a lot. He said, unplug everything from your from your I.O. except your keyboard. Restart the computer and it should boot. I did that and it booted up. So I was happy and I plugged everything in, plugged all the devices in after it turned on and it's working. So yeah, got that little flashy, flashy LED RAM in there. And this video I'm editing right now, it's almost finished. I don't want it to be too long, you know? But yeah, I just wanted to add this tad a bit in so you guys would know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, I'll catch you guys later though. Yeah.